Well, hello, everybody. My name is Harrison Painter, and welcome to Coffee with Harrison. All right, grab that cup of java, and let's create massive value. The wife has me on this big fitness program. I, I told you guys beginning of the year, I'm working, I've worked on the mind and the spirit, and now it's time to work on the body, especially since we're doing these live trainings now and whatnot. I just want to feel better, look better, and I think that's very, very important. So committed, even though I'm eating food, that just, I don't know if I would let my dog eat. Right now, my vegan friends and and all that are telling me my taste buds are going to learn to like this stuff. And my body will start shunning the, the foods that just aren't very good for me. And I'm trusting in them. I really am. But right now, it's hard, folks. I'm tired. I'm cranky. I, I, I still get my coffee, though. This is one thing I, I just can't give up. But... Uh, everything else I'm doing right now is, is pure 100% healthy and I'm struggling with it. I'll be honest with you, but committed. We're a gladiator. We're going to do it. So I want you guys to commit something to me. If you're using internet Explorer six, please upgrade, please. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, let me explain something on your computers. You have two things. You have what's called an operating system, which could be Windows XP, Windows Vista, the Windows 7 that just came out. If you're on Mac, it could be Tiger, Leopard, Snow Leopard. This is the engine. This is what runs your computer. Your browser is what you surf the internet in. So when you're surfing the web, you're in a browser. And a lot of you are still using IE6. I've been doing a lot of questions with folks lately trying to find out what browser they're using, and I'm finding out IE6, people are still using it all over the place. Uh, now, I don't think people realize, or maybe they're afraid to update, and I'm here to help you guys with that. There was just a big Mashable article that came out. YouTube, YouTube now, 1 billion views a day, remember. They're not going to be supporting IE6 anymore. Uh, so that's going to leave you guys out in the dark a little bit, and you're going to see a lot more websites start doing that as well. So I want to share with you where you go to update your browser, and I'm going to give you three options that'll create massive value for you. So here is option number one. Option number one is IE8. So you guys missed out on seven. You really didn't miss that much. But now we're up to Internet Explorer 8, and if you Google IE8, the first thing that'll come up will be this website here, and I will link it up at the bottom of all these videos. So you just go here, hit the Download Now button, right there, and it will take you to the download site and give you instructions on how to do that. If you're running a Windows machine, IE8 is an okay option. I am personally not a huge fan, so let me give you option number two because I feel this is an even better option than IE8. It's called Firefox, and we are now up to version 3.6 on Firefox. I would also ask Firefox folks to make sure they update as well because I was having a lot of troubles in Firefox with Flash, meaning videos. Uh, a lot of videos are done on what's called a Flash platform, and Firefox was crashing. So uh, I'm going to share a couple of other options in the bottom in the, in the section here, the, the, the written section, of links for you to not only update Firefox to 3.6, but update your Flash and, and everything else as well. So uh, Firefox has been a great browser. I've been using it, I believe, since 2006. I've used it on Windows machines and Mac machines. And really up until about six months ago, I loved it. They had some issues, but I believe they're back now because I upgraded everything myself this week. And so far, I have not had a crash yet since I went to 3.6 and up, upgraded my Flash. Now, there's one more option I want to share with you, and I really, really am enjoying this. It's called Google Chrome. Google Chrome is a very simplistic, basic browser. It's probably, I believe it is the fastest browser out there. Very simplistic. You're not going to get a whole lot of bells and whistles with this thing. You're going to get a browser that's fast, convenient, and easy to use. And we're going to do training sessions uh, in the future on each of these browsers and their capabilities. So, uh, But my recommendation is go in here and look at all three of these and see which one is going to best fit your needs. It's okay to download all three and have them on your system and play with them and then just get rid of the ones 
that you don't need or that you're not gonna use. I am confident by upgrading, you're gonna enjoy your browsing experience so much better. You're gonna be less frustrated with some of the sites that might not be working as well and absolutely here in the future as more websites come in and get updated, they're just not gonna work and, and I don't want you guys out there to get frustrated. So I hope this brought you some value today. My name is Harrison Painter. This has been Coffee with Harrison. I will see you tomorrow. Love it. Love it.